Father, we just want to bless your name. We give you thanksgiving for all that you have done. You are the one doing it. It's not any man. Thank you for preserving our souls, preserving our lives to see year 2014. Father, we bless you for all the showers of blessings program that we had throughout year 2013. Thank you because you were there to heal, to deliver, to save. Thank you because you allowed the voice of joy, the voice of gladness, the voice of the bride and groom, the voice of rejoicing to sound and to manifest in our families. Father, we say thank you. Take all the glory, take all the honor, take all adoration in the name of Jesus. All the prayers we said to you, Lord. We, we thank you because you did not return our prayers back on our chests. You appeared in our various situations. And Lord, we are convinced that much more you will do this year. Take all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, have your way in this service this morning. Visit every one of us. Let your word come with simplicity and clarity. In the name of Jesus. Make your word new to us today. Increase our faith in you and give us more and more testimonies to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prophesied with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. We take that song again. Faithful are you, Lord. Oh. 
one more time. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in glory. How excellent is your name. Come on, salute the name that has been highly exalted above every other name. The name of Jesus. It is at the mentioning of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the name of our God. Yes, Lord, we join the host of angels. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. There is none like you. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah Rofeka. Jehovah Shama. Jehovah Sidikenu. You are the Alpha. How excellent Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I prophesy into the lives of everyone here that your beauty will rest upon our lives. Amen. Your beauty will rest upon our homes and families. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. say beauty of the Lord. Of Rest, the Lord. Upon my life. Rest upon my life. Open your mouth and command it. That is the word of the Lord to you this Lord. day. Rest upon my life. Yes. In the name of we Jesus. agree with your word. The of the Lord. Let the Rest beauty of the Lord. Lord. Rest upon my life. Jesus. Beauty of the Lord. Rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Beauty of the Lord. Rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Beauty of the Lord. Rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon our life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest upon my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord, rest of all my life. In the name of Jesus, beauty of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. That is the word the Lord has asked me to give you this morning. It's in Psalms 90, verse 17. Psalms 90 and verse 17. Open your Bible to that scripture and amen. And begin to decree it upon your life. Open to Psalm 90. Psalm 90, Psalm 90, Psalm 90, Psalm 90, Psalm 90. Do you agree with that scripture? You agree with it? You agree with it? Hallelujah. Psalm 90 and verse 17. Let's read together. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Hallelujah. Now lift up your hands to heaven. Don't take the with that scripture. Let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Amen. The Bible says that the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. They are spirit and they are life. If you agree with that word, the spirit in that scripture will possess you. Amen. When it possesses you, your life will begin to radiate the beauty of the Lord. Amen. Now I decree, I declare, oh God, as you have spoken, let your beauty rest upon us. Amen. Let your beauty rest upon Amen. our families. Amen. Let your beauty rest upon Amen. our children. Amen. Let your beauty rest upon Amen. our marriages. Amen. Let your beauty rest upon Amen. our works. Amen. Let your beauty rest upon our Amen. ministries. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The other part of it says, and establish the 
thou, O God, the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. Let the Lord establish the works he has committed into your hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will establish the works of our Amen. children. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will establish our ministry. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus much less name, I decree with thanks. Amen. 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 In Jesus name. Certainly. Raise an altar for that. The name of God the Father. Amen. The Son. Amen. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Throughout this year, our lives will radiate to God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I raise an altar of beauty. Amen. Altar of establishment. Amen. Altar of comfort. Amen. For this ministry, for showers of blessing. Amen. Throughout the year 2014, as we gather to sing, to worship, to intercede, to pray, and to prevail in the house of prayer, the beauty of the Lord will rest upon us. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is done. Amen. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, Say beauty of the Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and be seated. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord took over the service. Amen. Ah, amen. I want to appreciate the living God for another opportunity to stand before the saints and to bring the counsel of the Lord to us. Over the years, he has been faithful to us. <laughs> amen. I was just thinking and ruminating and taking stock. And the Lord said to me, you don't know how many people get come here and they are blessed. And so I thank God for all the people that have, been, have, have attended our programs and have been blessed. Amen. Amen. I bless his holy name. I want to appreciate the one who sits in heaven and makes the earth his footstool. I want to appreciate him that covers himself with light as with garments. Obatofi Molebora Biasho. I salute his majesty. I thank God for your families. Every showers of blessing, you make it here to come and wait on the Lord. As you have come again this year, the Lord will visit you. Amen. Oju Oniti. You will not be put to shame. Amen. Everybody that has been waiting for your testimony, they will see it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. I bring you greetings from my father and the Lord. He called to say, I should say hello to you. And the voice that the heavens will open upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, the Lord wants me to share on the message, Lord, I have no man undertake for me. Hallelujah. I have no man, Lord, undertake for me. Me ole inyo. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible to the book of John 5. I welcome Mrs. Um, Uluwaleye. Good to see you this morning. Put your hands together for her. That's the wife of our HOP in club. Amen. She, she, I've not seen her for some time, so. It's nice to see, and I want to welcome all the servants of God in the house this morning. The Lord bless you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Are you in the book of John chapter 5? Let's read from verse 1. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the ship gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew, Bethesda, having five porches. 
In this lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made well of whatever disease he had. Whatever disease, whatever. Agbara bobo niche. Agbara awubaru. I can one woman on. You know, in medical practice, you don't. It's you hardly find a particular medicine solving all kinds of ailments. Doctor, uh, oh, um, is it in medical practice? But when I got here, it's like uh -uh. an angel will come at a particular season, enter into the pool and stay it. And he would deposit inside the pool power to heal all manner of sickness. No matter whatever it is that is the ailment there of the people that were there, just entered in. The power of the Holy Spirit that is deposited in the water will take away the sickness. Whether it was cancer, whether it was tumor, whether it was glaucoma, whether it was fever, the power of God in the pool will just suck the problem. Hallelujah. Isn't God awesome? Agbara Lonko, Agbara Lonko, O Lano Sori Okun, O Wodi Jericho, Agbara Lonko, Agbara Lonko, O Lano Sori. of God is awesome. <laughs> He's an awesome God. Now, verse 5. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When, G how many years? When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time. He said to him, do you want to be made well? Hallelujah. You see, 38 years. In Bible history, I'm not sure Jesus lived up to 38 years. Ministers. But this guy had been in that condition 38 years and he knew it. Hallelujah. So I don't know how old your problem is. You have been praying, you think God does not know. God knows every bit of what you are going through. And I know today is your day. Yeah. And when Jesus saw him, he said, he said to him, do you want to be made well? You have been in this condition for all these years. But I want to tell you, I want to ask you, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, could I, could I understand, sir? It looks like you, you are not getting it, sir. I don't have any. He said, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. It doesn't look like you understand, sir. I have been on this matter since. I've been to from 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 places to places. I have seen I have seen consultants. I have seen doctors of medicine. I have been on this case. This matter. I have been on it. Eh? I have seen one professor of law and the other, but nothing has been happening. It, you don't seem to understand. When there are opportunities, now this is this is political season, and I know I qualify. To be the chairman of this uh, local government. I know I qualify to be the governor. I know, uh, I know my brother. My brother is he's too versatile. He can rule this state, you know, successfully. And you know, you have been waiting. This man has been in this game for some time. And we know he qualifies. 
But you know what? He's not properly connected. I don't know what your matter is. At a certain season, you know, for women trusting God for the fruit of the womb, there is a season of ovulation. When, when the man and his wife copulate, their, it will result to pregnancy. But it is at that time that the man will go limp. It is at that time that the devil will stir up problems. And that is the time the man will just take off from the house. And by the time he's coming back, ovulation has passed. Are you listening to me? There is a certain season for your lifting. Your, I don't know your kind of business. There is a season that you should make it. But at that season, something just cripples you. But today, the Lord that appeared at that pool of Bethesda will appear in your matter. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 8. Jesus said to him, Rise. Take up your bed and walk. As simple as that. The owner of the water, the owner of the angel, the owner of the man said to him, you know what? Leave the staring of the water. Leave your story. But I have come to tell you, rise and walk. As simple as that. And in childlike faith, Dropping all arguments, dropping all complaints, dropping all your past and bad history. He just agreed with that word. He agreed with the command and his story changed. Your story will change. <laughs> and immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked, and that day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him, Who was cured? It is Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to smile on Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to be, to be promoted on Sabbath. It is, not, it is not lawful for you to carry your bed. <laughs> he answered them. He who made me well said to me, take up your bed and walk. Every power saying, it is not time for you to testify. I shall die. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every power saying, it is not time for you to carry your bed. Shall go for yourself Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. Every power saying it is not yet time for your business to break through shall die Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, I believe it. I believe it. Sit down. And they, they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? But the one who was here did not even know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn. And multitude been in that place. Afterwards, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, Oh boy, see, you have been made well now. Sin no more. Lest a worse thing come upon you. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. For this reason, the Jews persecuted Jesus and sought to kill him. Because he had done these things on the Sabbath. Any power that wants to attack our destiny here, Pastor, shall die. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A brother said to me, came visiting and said to me, I thank God for your life, my sister. There are people, when you have issues, and you go to some people, and they want to help you. Such people, such persons can be limited. But I thank God I have come under the umbrella of clam. And the God of clam has sorted me out. Once again, I want to say to you and to myself, any power that wants to hinder our destiny, help us from locating us or from helping us, helping our children, helping our spouses, such power shall die. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. They must die. Let's take this song. If they must die, let, let them, them die. die. If, if they, they must come let them come If they must come out, let them come out. Wait the power. Yeah. Hallelujah. If they must die, let them die. Sing and clap your hands. Power must die. Winter 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 power
power Moza. We got power Moza. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. Any power. Any power. Say no. Say no. To the yes of God in my life. You are a liar. Behold your grave. Die. 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 your hands together for the Lord and sit down. Apart from the fact that it's in the Bible, is it not real? Some people, when they know that you want to get help, they will go behind and say, ah, what is that sister looking for in your office? <laughs> oh, you've not heard them. He has said terrible things about you. You want to help your enemy. It's a lie, you. It's not as if that sister had said anything against the, help, the pro, uh, proposed helper. But they just do not want to see the sister get out of her problem. Any power saying no to the yes of God for our families, for our husbands, for our wives, for our children, let such powers die Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Raise an altar for that. Uh -huh. Name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do not my Father, Do not my Father. Oh, that take from me. Oh, me. In the name of Jesus. Name. Open your mouth and begin to I don't have children. Undertake for my children. Undertake for my wife. Oh Lord, my Father. Undertake for me. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father. Undertake for me. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father. Undertake for me. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father. Undertake for me. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Another, please sit down. Another similar case is this. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I want to read verse 2. Then some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea, from Syria, and they are in Hazazon Tamar, which is Engedi. Verse 3. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Verse 6, and said, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? Do you not rule over all kingdoms of the nation and in your hand is there not power and might so that no one is able to withstand you? The power of God that cannot be insulted will appear in your matter. Hey, Amen. Hallelujah. I will move from there to verse 12. Oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this multitude that is coming against us. Now, do we know what to do but our eyes are upon you? We have no power. You see, I don't know what your situation is this morning. You have submitted a series of proposals, business proposals, and nothing is coming through. Because nobody, they even take your proposal and use it and give it to somebody else and they execute it and they make money from your own labor. But this morning, the mighty God will step into your affairs. Amen. I don't know how much you are owing, no. I don't know how much you are owing. I don't know how bad your business is. I don't know how bad the situation of the, your children are. I don't know how bad the condition of your marriage is. I don't know who has been saying, who has been going behind you to attack your progress. The mighty power of God. The Lord that is mighty in power. The Lord whose name is Jehovah will step into your fears in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
You have been on the same spot like that man for 38 years. Jesus, today your time and chance are clicking. Amen. Today, the Holy Spirit is here because of you. Amen. He wants to, all those arguments, all those stories, he does not want, enough is enough of all those stories. What, he wants to do a quick walk in your life this morning. Amen. Say, oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my Father. do a quick walk in my life. Do a quick walk I in my life. I have no man to help me. I have no man to help me. Therefore, Lord, help me this yeah, morning. Lord, help me do a quick morning. walk. Do a quick, do a quick walk. Do a quick walk in my marriage. Do a quick walk of restoration. Do a quick walk of healing. Do a quick walk of prosperity. Do a quick walk of promotion in my family. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decrease. Do a quick walk. Lord, do a quick walk. Lord, do a quick walk. In my family, in my life, in my home, in my ministry. In everything that concerns me, oh Lord. Do a quick walk, 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 oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, do a quick walk, oh Lord. Oh Lord, do a quick walk, oh Lord. Do a quick walk, oh You better pray. You better pray. Lord, do a quick walk. In my family. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Your own infirmity may be, spirit, may be spiritual. May have to do with the works of the flesh. You have been struggling with immorality. And that thing has stagnated your progress in life. Immorality is a wrecker of destiny. It will, wreck, it will wreck one's finances. It will wreck one's health. It will wreck one's, one's family. It will wreck one's progress. When one gathers, it will scatter it. That is the work of immorality. Your own could be, you have been stagnated by that for years. Today, God will show up for you. Amen. Your own may, may be mouth diarrhea like a father in the Lord will say it. You would have told this. You would have revealed what God is doing before it matures. And before you know it, it begins to scatter. And you wonder, but God has promised me this. Why is it not happening? Are you hearing me? You are going to pray again. Lord, my father, I have no man. Undertake for me. Maybe your children, they are beautiful, they are handsome, but yet nobody is seeing them. Oh, they have always been laboring and failing at the edge of breakthrough. When they should go be brought to the altar to be wedded, something just happens and the whole thing, they begin again. I want you to pray. Oh Lord, I have no man undertake for me. Oh Lord, I have no man undertake for me. Undertake for my children. Undertake for my husband. Undertake, undertake for my, husband. Undertake for undertake my wife. For my wife. Undertake Open for your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of I have no man. Oh Lord, I have, I have no, man. no man. I have undertake no man. For me. Undertake 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 for my children. Undertake for my husband. Undertake for us. Undertake. 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 Undertake for us. Undertake for us. Undertake for us. Oraba shakaya ba so tale bo so tala ya ba. Ikale bo so pralege de bo sata ya ba. Ikalo bo so tori ya ba yanda. Ikalo bo so tori ya. Undertake for my home. In the name of Jesus. Lord, undertake for us. Undertake for us. Undertake for us. Undertake for us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, undertake for us, undertake for us, undertake for us, undertake for us, undertake for us. We have no man, Lord, undertake in Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hear this one again. Nobody's will. Your prayer partners are tired of you. There is a part, one, one prayer point you have been praying for many years. Even pastors say for, they are dodging you because they have prayed, they have fasted. But you see, it's like the problem is not solving. So when you appear like they take another direction, that sister coming, you know, that sister with that prayer point, mm, we have done all we could do. But the Lord will undertake for you. Amen. I don't know what your own is. You see, Jehovah Te Shaphat was a king. So the rich also cried. The kings have richly problems. The nobles have nobility problems. 
Everybody has issues. Your own, there are people that are very rich and they have children, but they don't have peace. That is their own problem. That is their own issue. They have been in it for many years. Don't say, eh, you see, some people have children, but they don't have means to train them. Some people have, they have, they have, they have money, but they don't have children. Hallelujah. Some people are, they are cerebral. They are on point. They are sharp. They are brilliant, but they don't have platform. Household enemies have withdrawn platform from their feet. They've been stagnated in the village. They've been stagnated on one point. You want to say this morning, I have no man. You see, if you are looking at pastor to answer your prayer, you have missed it. If you are looking for your prayer partners to, pray, to, to answer your prayer point, it's a lie. But God has asked me to tell you, you don't have any man, no. Hey, Do you know what? A man is limited, but God is limitless. He is everything in every situation. As the angel came, stirred up the water, and any kind of sickness that enters the water is cured. That same Jesus is here this morning. Hey. You are going to cry. Oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. I have no man. I have no undertake man. for me. Undertake in for the me. name of Jesus. Jesus. Open your oh, mouth and pray. Pray, no for your pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. My so talagayanda. Libosu taye ketsele ya bayanda. Iko koko fe taye ketsele. Undertake. Undertake. Undertake for my children. Undertake for my husband. Undertake for my husband. Undertake for my children. Undertake for my work. Undertake. 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 Ora baso kataya baso talia. I kalobo so talige de bosta. I kalobo so prelige de bosta. I kalabayanda la bashanda. I karobo se. I karabayanda. Undertake. 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 I have no man. I have no man. I have no helper. You are my helper. Oh, ya baso pale ke tele bosta. Lord, undertake for. In the name of Jesus, we have no empire. Lord, undertake for all. In the name of Jesus, our lady undertake for all. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my God, undertake for all. Undertake for all. Undertake for all. Undertake for all. In clap, Lord, undertake for all. In the name of Jesus, Lord, undertake for all. Undertake for all. Undertake for all. Undertake for all. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, undertake, 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 undertake for all. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my God, undertake for all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord will undertake for us. Amen. He will send help speedily. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are still in 2 Chronicles 20 verse 22 now. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 22. Now, when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. What is that power? Combined forces, conspiracy, even networking against your peace, against your progress, against your family, against your spouses, against our children. Today, the God of the whole Shabbat will answer for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. it is done. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Sir. Now you take this song before you sing. My helper, oh, my helper. My helper, oh, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper, my helper, oh, my helper, my helper, my helper, my helper, my helper, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. Hallelujah. Sit down for a second. 
Amen. Our chance of blessing is a prayer cum intercessory meeting. Are you listening to me? As I lifted up my hands to begin to pray for myself as, I, as I'm here, the Lord said to me, ask them to pray for five minutes non-stop. You know the areas you need God to undertake for you. I don't, you see, when I say, Lord, undertake for me, I have no man. You know the area that you are trusting God for help. Are you listening to me? For five minutes non-stop, you are going to begin to cry to the only one who can save you. To the only one who cannot be attacked by any demon. To the only one who cannot be insulted. To the only one who cannot be intimidated by people's, uh, uh, by people's grumbling and murmuring. You know, some people say, eh, I don't want them to, to say it is me. Oh. Eh, so, please, uh, madam, they will cleverly ask you to go. Eh, you know what? Because somebody had come to say, eh, that sister. Uh, don't mind how that's how she is she goes from place to place from one man to another man to another man you see but the god of god of the heavens and the earth whose name is all powerful whose name is the almighty whose name is jehovah the man of war who is the strength and the help of israel will show up on your matter and will silence all your adversaries amen the Bible, we read in the book of John, the people were saying, who is the man that healed you? And they went to him, plotting to destroy Jesus Christ. He said, I willingly, he told, he said it to his disciples that he willingly laid his life down. Nobody could take his life from him. That is the person who you are calling to come and undertake for you. No demon, no foundational power can challenge him. No power from your in-laws family can challenge him. No power, I don't know which altar they have dedicated you and it's, you have been fighting this battle over the years. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He will destroy the altar. Amen. That problem must bow in Jesus' name. Now let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 40. That is the scripture God gave to us to run with in voice of joy this year. Let's go to verse 4. And every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill shall be brought low. The crooked places in our life shall be made straight. And the rough places smooth. Amen. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Amen. And all flesh, all flesh, I mean all flesh, shall see together. Amen. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse 9. O Zion, O voice of joy and gladness, women international ministry, you who bring good tidings, get up into the high mountain of Jerusalem. You who bring good tidings, lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say to the destinies here this morning, behold your God. Behold, the Lord God shall come with a strong hand. Amen. And his arm shall rule in your situation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's go to verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations. America, Canada, Scandinavia, Nigeria, London, UK, Yugoslavia, Ireland, Australia, they are as nothing before him. And they are counted by him less than nothing and worthless. Hallelujah. Verse 21. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he our undertaker this morning, who sits above the circles of the earth and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in. He brings the princes to nothing. That are saying they are in charge of your matter, 
all those small letter G gods, satanic princes, sitting in high places of darkness to legislate impossibility to our lives shall be brought low this morning. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Yes, he brings the princes to nothing. He makes the judges of the earth useless. Every power that has been summoning you for evil judgment, summoning our works and marriages, judging us, saying there is no way, no progress, no fruitfulness, no, mo no upward movement. Today, the Lord God Almighty, the chief judge of the whole earth, render them useless. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to verse 28. Have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. The person who is going to take over your matter this morning is never weary. Hallelujah. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. The might, the strength you need for conception, receive in the name Amen. of Jesus. The might, the strength you need for progress, for prosperity, receive in the name of Amen. Jesus. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. You have fasted and fasted and you have trusted God. You have fasted, your stomach has become flat. The Bible says you can do all that and be weary. And you, and you can faint. But, verse 31, those who wait on the Lord. You have come this morning to wait on Him. You left, today is Saturday. Some people spend so extra time to sleep this day. But you have come to wait on the Lord this morning. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. I command, let your spiritual strength be renewed. Amen. Let your physical strength be renewed. Amen. Let your health be renewed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. <laughs> well, where they thought they have captured you. After now, they will go there and you are not there anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your business is no more on the floor. Amen. Your business is gaining motion. Amen. It's gaining upward movement. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They shall run and not be weary. Amen. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Say, I agree with your word. Amen. I agree with your word. I agree with your word. What we have just read there is the strength of the undertaker. You, say, you have told yourself now that you don't have any man. But... You have said, oh God, undertake for me. So I have just enumerated from that scripture the strength of your undertaker. He cannot be insulted. He cannot be challenged. He will challenge your challenger. Amen. Five minutes this morning begin to talk to your undertaker. I have no man. I have no man. No. In my marriage, I have no man. Nobody to help me. I have tried. I have run helter skelter. I have, I have fasted. I have no man. No. In that business, I have no man except to help me. Undertake for me. Cry like Jehoshaphat. Cry like Jehoshaphat. Oh, Rabba, so talebo, so pranegedo, so sayaba. He carobo, so taleaba yanda. He calebo, so talea. He carobo, so toriaba yanda. He calebo, so talea. Shera re logo. Shera re logo. Be praying, be praying, leave them. Be praying, be praying. Go on and pray, go on and pray. Be praying. I just want the keyboard. I'll be praying in the spirit as well. Shera re logo baba. Shera re logo Shera re logo baba Laye wa Olo Shera re logo baba Shera re logo Shera re 
logo Oluwa We cannot do without you We cannot do without you We cannot do without you Oh Lord We cannot do without you We cannot do without you Malebo tayaba We cannot do without you Oh Lord In all I want I show Oh God I show you like I just like to see our married dear Lord do marry In all I want I show Glorify your name. Glorify. Your name, glorify your name in all the air. Lord, glorify your name in the lives of every man, every woman this morning. Undertake for us, Lord. Undertake for all our children. Undertake for all our spouses. Undertake for the assignment you have committed into our hands. We cannot help ourselves. We have no might of our own. We depend on you, O oh God, our, our God. Our eyes are on you, O oh God. Undertake for us. Undertake for us. Malege de brosto teleyaba katayaba sutaliaba. Ikere bo sundaliaba yanda la ba yanda la ba yenda. Ikaraba sanda ya ba handa la ya ba yendele ya. Ude bo se tere bo sata ya ba ya sa ya ba kata ya ba. Yes Lord. Glorify your name in all the As we have decreed in the heirs of the Lord in righteousness, so he will do for us. Amen. He will undertake for us. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. amen and amen. amen in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for the Lord. Go to John chapter 5, verse 14. John chapter 5 and verse 14, quickly. John chapter 5. John chapter 5. Go, Lasha, Ileke, Iji, Legun, Lashi, Awa Maridi. Ele do mare 
Amen. Thank you very much. Verse 14. Malebro Sutaya. Afterwards, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, Please, can that woman come? Let this woman come. Come. The woman, yes, please come. Hallelujah. Not you. The mommy in brown. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more. Lest a worse thing come upon you. Hallelujah. Sin no more. The Lord has come in his mercy to put an end to everything that is limiting us. We give him praise. But look at the condition. He has silenced every opposition. But for us to sustain and retain our blessing. Now, look at the condition. Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more. Are you here this morning? You have not given your life to Christ. In fact, what you are enjoying now is environmental blessing. As you step out of this place, the contender will come. And you will not have opportunity to, to, to overcome. Are you listening to me? For the Lord to give you a new song. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, all heads bow and all eyes closed. Please come. Please come. Please come. You have not given your life to Jesus Christ. Please come. Please come. Please come. Praise the Lord. You want to give your life to Jesus Christ? Please come. There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be ashamed about. Are you there? You have not said at any time, Jesus, come. I want you to take me, oh, take me over completely. I want to be your friend. I want to relate with you more than ever. I have been coming to church. I have been praying. But I have not known you personally. Are you there this morning? Come. And so if there is none, shall we rise to our feet? Lift up your hands to heaven and say, Lord, I want to thank you. Lord, I want to thank you. For your word that has come unto me. In any way I have been the one undoing myself, Lord, have mercy and forgive me. Open your mouth now, begin to confess your sins. If I say I have no sin, I deceive myself and the truth is not me. He is faithful to forgive me all my unrighteousness. Lord Jesus. Every carelessness, careless utterances, prayerlessness, unbelief, doubt, anxiety that can make us to lose this miracle. Father, we ask that you forgive us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Throughout this year, my God will undertake for me and my family. Open your mouth and declare. Throughout this year, my God Undertake for me, undertake for my children, undertake for my husband, undertake for my husband, undertake for my children. Now you are going to pray for your spouses and your children. Undertake, only what down, sir, or you call me, only what down, sir, or you are one more me, only what down, sir, or she call me, oh, Rabasso Talayaba. Pray for your husband, pray for your wife, and pray for your children. Undertake, undertake for my family, undertake 
for my brothers, undertake for my sisters, undertake for my in-laws, undertake for my husband, undertake for my children, undertake, undertake, undertake for us, undertake for them, undertake for them. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying, Are you praying for your spouse? You know the area you want God to intervene in the life of your husband or your wife. Open your mouth and say, Lord, undertake. Undertake for him. Undertake for him. He has nobody to help him. He has nobody to help him. He has nobody to help. Undertake for him. Oluwa. Run lower. Oluwa. Run lower. Undertake for my sons. Undertake for my daughters. Undertake for the works of their hands. Oh, Rabba Supra Lege Debo Sotale Abaya Nalaba Ike Lebo Sopre Lege Debo Shanda Throughout this year, Lord, undertake for us. Undertake for my husband, undertake for my children, undertake for my grandchildren, undertake, 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 undertake for my great grandchildren, undertake, 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 undertake for my in laws, undertake, 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 undertake for my siblings and their families, undertake my supralegate level shanda, hikarobo supralegaya, undertake for our businesses, undertake, Lord. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Lift up your prayer request to heaven. The prayer requests. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we have written this letter to you. Read our letters. Answer speedily. Undertake for us. In the name of Jesus. Lord, next time when we'll be coming for showers of blessing in the month of March. We shall have testimonies. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that which you have done today shall be permanent. Amen. I prophesy therefore into our lives. Any power around us that want to keep us stagnated spiritually and financially shall die. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that shall die. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree again situations and circumstances harassing our families Harassing our businesses shall be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree, I prophesy that the Lord would demonstrate His power in Amen. our lives and family. In the name of Jesus, Amen. He will demonstrate His power Amen. as our helper. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. He will undertake for us. Amen. He will undertake for Amen. us. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I prophesy into our realms and I decree that. This year and beyond, sickness will not imprison us. Amen. Disease will not stagnate Amen. us. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree, I proclaim, I prophesy that sudden miracles will invade our families. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord will saturate our lives with testimony. Amen. He will saturate our businesses with divine help. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. receive divine help. Amen. Receive divine help. Amen. In the morning, help. Amen. In the afternoon, help. Amen. In the night, help. Amen. From four corners of the world, divine help. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' matchless name, I decree with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's share the grace in fellowship. Thank you. Please remember to drop your prayer points. We're going to continue to pray on it. The Lord bless you. Good to see you. Love you with the love of the Lord.